Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo Idea Center 310S 08 IAP. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your CMOS battery. So first thing, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your power cord. Okay, so I'm going to unscrew this screw here and this screw here to take off this panel. After that, you can grab this panel right here and pull it and it releases. To get the front panel off, there's these three black clips. We're gonna pull out that one, pull out that one, pull out that one. Lift up the computer a little bit and the front face can come off. As a general computer repair side note, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model computer, there will be a link above, also below in the description, and it will be a list of all those tools and supplies and replacement parts for this computer. To get this component up to access the internal components, we're gonna push on this blue tab. There's an arrow on the tab, also an arrow here on the metal. You're gonna push that in, and then this pops up like that. And that releases your hard drive and gets you full access to this area. This right here is your CMOS battery. If you are looking for a replacement for this battery, I will have one below in the description in that link I told you about with all the replacement parts and tools for this computer. If you're looking to get this battery out, you would take a small flat plastic pry tool and I'm going to put it right down here near where this clip is. It's spring loaded. I'm going to push that spring in and gently pop out the CMOS battery like that. If you are here to reset your BIOS you would take that battery out for maybe 15, 20 seconds, and that will be sufficient to reset your BIOS. Now to get it back in, I will slide it underneath those black clips right there, and then just push in on the other side, and it snaps into place. A couple quick things to keep in mind with this operation. First of all, in most situations, this will only reset your BIOS system settings, not your BIOS password. If you would like more BIOS password reset information, check out below in the FAQs. Also, this BIOS reset procedure can be a common troubleshooting step if your computer is not turning on. If that's why you're here and you would like more help troubleshooting what's wrong with your computer, there'll be a video link below in the description. It'll be the full troubleshooting video on how to deal with a computer that's not turning on and how to fix it. But that's the end of this instructional video. I hope it was helpful. Please like and share if it was, if you think it can help someone else. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content, or if you want to keep me on hand to answer any future questions, I do answer all questions at least a couple times a day. Remember though, if you do have a question, check out the FAQs in the description first. It could save you some time waiting for an answer. Thank you so much everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.